Hey everybody, it's Jason. I'm here with my weekly set recap number 65 for the week of June 5th through the 11th. So we'll get started here with last Wednesday, and I was melting rose. Um, this is a very perfumey, powdery type of floral. Super duper strong. It gets a lot sweeter and mellows out a little bit when it's warmed up. But it's still one that you absolutely would have to like florals, um... To really like, I think. I don't really ever think that rose in wax form translates well. I just don't think it smells like an actual rose. Um, it just smells kind of like a perfumey rose type of scent, but yeah. <laughs> Tangerine. Um, this one's like a really, really powdery citrus scent. It smells kind of like tang to me. And pretty much all of the tangerine scents that CBB has have kind of had that same powdered type of note to them. So, yeah, it just, it, it's not as like fresh as I would want it to be for a citrus scent. But it's not bad. Mango sage tea. This one, it's a lot of sage but also has a lot of sweetness from the mango, and then a little bit of like a, an herbal tea note. When it's warmed up, a lot more of the mango comes out, but it still has a lot of earthiness from the sage, so. It's probably not a favorite of mine, but it was nice. Um, I really like mango scents, so I liked that part of it. Berries and cream. This one smells a lot like creme brulee with like a mixed berry scent. And a lot more of that creme brulee comes out when it's warmed up than on cold throw. It's like a super, super creamy bakery type of vanilla with the berries. So that was nice. Next was Wedding Day. This is a Yankee dupe. And from what I recall, it's a pretty good dupe. It smells very similar to Wedding Day from Yankee, which is like a, a floral mix. On cold throw, it's very, very perfumey, and when it's warmed up, it gets a lot sweeter, but it's still one, again, that you probably like, would have to like florals to really like this one, because it is really strong. Um, yeah. Cosmopolitan. This one is a mix of cranberry and lime, and I've said before that I'm not really a fan of Victoria's cranberry scents, and this is one of those that I don't really particularly care for. It does have a really tart lime in the background, but that cranberry just isn't doing it for me, so yeah, that's not really one <laughs> for me. And then finally for this week, I did Twilight, which is a combination of Edward Cullen and Bella Swan. Edward Cullen, I'm not really a huge fan of. It's very floral. Bella Swan, though, is my all-time favorite scent from Candles by Victoria. So this one's awesome. It's a really good combo of the two. I still like Bella Swan better than this one, but this one is also really good and definitely a good, like, bedroom type of scent, I think. So Twilight's one that I definitely recommend you try if you haven't given it a try. Bella Swan, though, is an absolute must from CBV. If you order nothing else, get Bella Swan. <laughs> So yes, that was my weekly scent recap number 65. As always, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!